We have all these systems out here. How do you get control of them? IT architecture is certainly one of them. Here's the first problem that you're going to face in doing any kind of e-discovery. How do I lay down the architecture, the physical architecture of what's out there? Where are the servers? Where are the PCs? Anything that can store data is a potential candidate for discovery. Um, for those in government, uh, I know, I, I think over the Bureau, I think our retention rate on email is 90 days or something, unless we've declared it a record. And then they destroy those tapes. Uh, anybody who works for the government understands two things in this town. There's two lines that you follow, the money line and the blame line. So what do you think I'm doing with those emails I have? I have every single email I've ever had in the Bureau on my hard drive. Why? Because I'm going to cover the blame line. Sooner or later, something will come up. You guys do the same thing. So, so if you think we're just going to manage our email systems and our backup tapes, that's another issue, isn't it? But I got all this stuff on these hard drives. So you have proliferation of data all over the place. Uh, how are we going to deal with it? Preserving the, the, the integrity of the data, being able to find it just to start with. Now think about your organization. How many PCs? Uh, where are all the servers? I'm, and I'm talking a lot of unstructured data. I'm not, let's not get to your uh, uh, executive, uh, what is it, ESP or ERPs, Enterprise Resource Management Systems, OK? Uh, those are not a lifesaver, by the way. Uh, there's information there, but you just don't know how to get to it. I remember my wife worked for NASA, and they started off on this huge financial management system. They were going to overhaul it. Guess what the one part was that they really couldn't do? Executive information systems. The decision support stuff. How do you bring it together, tie it together, and make sense of it? This is getting into data mining, data warehousing, harvesting data. Okay? And if you can think about the continuum of what the problem set we have here is, uh, we have a thing called data. Data makes information. Information needs me to knowledge. Knowledge leads me to intelligence. Hopefully, if I have intelligence, I can become wise. Wisdom. Okay, we're back here at the data layer, guys. And we don't even know where it's all at. Okay? So don't think relational databases and that kind of information system is, is really uh, going to save your bacon. It won't. It's getting the stuff out of there and understanding what was going on. Analysis is critical. That's where we start to connect the dots. It's about people. It's about bank accounts. It's about phone numbers and who's calling whom. Okay? We may not know exactly what you said, but we knew something was going on in this time frame, and you were involved, and who did you call, and who did they call beyond that, so we can start to connect the dots. Okay? Now, it depends on what side you want to look at this information. Do I want to prove my innocence, or do I want to find something against the other guy? I think in, in the e-discovery realm, you've got to be prepared to do both. I don't think an attorney in a law office is going to come in uh, and, uh, and do that kind of work for you. Uh, the other piece is your lawyers are going to want to look at this stuff, whatever we find. And it'll be voluminous, believe me. So we have some other challenges. How do we get the really relevant stuff first so that the, guy that's, the lawyer that's making three and 400 an hour reviewing this stuff uh, is looking at the, the right stack of material? And then there's sort of the stuff we think might be relevant where they're using a $200 attorney an hour to look through it, and the stuff that we think is just noise but still was in the scope of the search, you got a paralegal looking through it. They're going to look through it. What they want to find, is there any attorney-client privilege here, uh, and are these documents relevant? But in e-discovery, we can make that job easier through uh, electronic analysis.